All right, folks, this is Lewis Coffrey. He is the host of the event. He's going to say some words before it starts. Hello, everyone. Uh, Vanessa Belgard Promotions and myself would like to welcome everyone to the official weigh-ins for the WKA Women's Muay Thai Gala. Starting now, stay tuned. Check it out. I'm going to follow Lewis now. I'll show you guys what a host does in an event. Yes. Oh, yeah, we're really excited. You know, post COVID, we haven't we haven't had a uh, the women's Muay Thai gala since uh, since 2020. So we're really excited about this one, right? Uh, fighters have been training hard, the coaches have been training hard, and getting everybody set. So we're just excited. That everyone's here and ready to go. All right. So what are you doing now? Now we're just gonna just wait for all the fighters just to get uh, just to get all their paperwork in. There's a lot of paperwork that we have to get done. Uh, make sure that all the medicals are, are in order and make sure that everyone understands uh, what the rules are. And uh, then we'll do the official weigh-in. Come back and read the rules one more time to make sure everyone understands. And then that'll be the night. All the fighters will get a chance to go eat something and uh, and, and replenish their bodies and uh, get fueled up for tomorrow's fight. So we're really excited. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for your time, Lewis. Anytime, I'm gonna call anytime. you around later. Yeah, sure. Some more. Okay. All right, everyone. In celebration of Women's International Month, We'd like to welcome everyone to the Women's Muay Thai United Strong Gala. This has been a movement started by Vanessa Belgard three years ago to have all the top female fighters headline an entire card, and it has come to fruition with her hard work. So without any further ado, crew Vanessa Belgard. Thank you for all the ladies wanting to take part in this event. It has been tough um, getting females to come out because, you know, January, a lot of people got sick, so it wasn't too sure if it was going to happen, and we made it happen. So thank you very much, and again, happy International Women's Day on Tuesday. Um, so before we get started, um, the purple folders, if you guys can make sure to put the contracts back in there. Make sure they're signed so I don't have to go look for you guys later or tomorrow. Um, put them back in there. Give them back to Tara who gave them to you and the photos for you and the program. Okay. Um, and then um, I think that's I think that's pretty much about it. Just make sure we get those back. And you got anything to say? No, I just uh, just ready to do the weigh-in. You guys ready to weigh in? Yeah. All right, so we're going to go in order. This is in order. Yeah. So the first one has been canceled, unfortunately, but it's still going to follow in sequence. So there is an exhibition going on in number one. Okay, there'll be two little, tiny little little, little dragon girls fighting. The little Muay Thai girls, they're amazing. So cheer them on tomorrow for bout number one, and then they'll follow the sequence you're still so nothing has changed okay perfect all right so we'll be right. starting with uh, about two make sure after you weigh in to come back in you can have your snack and hydrate as no one can leave until the officials have read over the rules okay yeah please make your way back in we got to do that yes and we have some news to share with you as well so make sure you make your way back in okay so starting off with about number one that aren't here in the little dragon. Okay, so about number two. Yeah. About number two. All right, let's do it. Okay. We got Brianna and Bella. Ladies. Yeah, we have to stay until we're moving up. We're moving outside the conference room here, and we're going to go into the weighing room, which is right outside the conference room. We got Sean here working the weight, the health meter and Mike Zentek here with the clipboard. 
not a clipboard, but the notes. Okay, on the scale first. Bella. What is your weight? 115? 115. Bella, 115 and a half. Let's go next, Brianna. Yes. Brianna, 116. Yeah, once you guys get weighed in, go for the uh, face-off picture. Uh, you'll see the markings there on the floor. And give us a photo of you guys facing off, and then another photo of you guys facing us. It's all about the fighters on this card. We want to promote you right. Next to be ready on the scale will be Takoa and Nikki. Takoa, you, you will be first when it's time. All right, so that's the first class we're going to kick off the fight. Let's go. <laughs> have fun, have you? <laughs> yes, great, great ass. <laughs> Just one year after this. Takoa, 143. Nikki, 142. Guess you're getting closer. Next on the scale, <laughs> Michelle and Jen. And facing me? Michelle, you will be first. Sorry, I'm sorry. Could we agree on 120 or 115? 120. For Jen and Michelle. 120. 120. 115 is on the WK list. That's why we're questioning. The contract is. Okay. No, that's good. Uh, Michelle, you'll be first. Michelle, 119.
Jordan, 121. Up next on the scale, when the ladies are done with their pictures, Hannah and Krista. Krista, you will be first for 130. Krista, 126. How much? 126. Oh. <laughs> 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 That'll be a lot of weight to look good. I'm sorry. No, that's all right. <laughs> Hannah, 128. Up next on the scale, when the ladies are done at the poster, Sophia and Ocean for yeah. 120. On the scale first will be Sophia. <laughs> okay, could you face this way? Okay, and move over just about three. Okay, that's good. Perfect. Thank you very much. <coughs> Thank you. On the scale, Sophia for 120. Sophia is one twenty one. Ocean, 119. <laughs> Up next on the scale, Rihanna and Hope for 165. Strong sounds. Yeah. On the scale, first will be Fire. Now, face us, face us. Strong sounds. Move over just a little bit, two inches. Yeah, okay, here we go. Thank you. Good luck. Rihanna. Rihanna's one sixty and a half. One six zero and a half. I think I'll like pages. 
162 and a half. Up next on the scale, when the ladies are done, pitchers Grace and Mahalia for 135. Face us. Yeah. Ready? Perfect. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry. <laughs> Was it intentional? Sorry. 135. I don't know why I think you're going to be like 135. Yeah. I don't even touch the scale. That makes my job easy. Thank you. Welcome. Mahalia. Hello. Hello. The scale's yours. You can't put your hair no more. Just be still. Sorry. Mahalia, yeah, 132. I don't, I don't know how to Up next on the scale, about nine. Amy and Sydney, when the ladies are done with pictures. 108. Something there. Maybe you'll be first on the scale. <laughs> she can wait. Yeah, this one is uh, the right here in Washington City. One oh six and a half. I'm just a Calvin again. Stand right there for him. Not birds of this, but birds of this. Sydney, one twelve. Next on the scale when the ladies are done their pictures, Sydney and Stephanie for the main event. Are they allowed this one? Hey, Good. Good. Vanessa? Me? Vanessa? Vanessa, you need it, please. What was the contract on this one? Come on, it says. One hour. An hour. What is she at? She's 112. She's got to come down at least two. Yep. 
I'll uh, let up to him. Okay, you ready? Clock has started. Go. Johnson, 744. Okay, okay next on the scale, the main event, Stephanie and Sydney. Sydney, you'll take the scale first. Sydney, one twelve and a half. Stephanie, 117 and a half. fighter that didn't uh, make the official weight. There must have been some confusion between uh, the communication between coaches, um, but uh, she got one hour to try to lose uh, two pounds. So it's pretty common, you know, usually a fighter can lose uh, a pound in an hour, but they still have to talk to the other team and make sure that everyone kind of agrees that, uh, you know, if there is a pound or a pound and a half difference, that uh, they still want to fight. But it has to be an agreement, uh, an agreement between both coaches and the officials. So, fighter safety is number one. This is why fighters have to make weight. You know, it's professional. For a fighter to make weight is really important because uh, it, it, it speaks volumes about your 
lifestyle and your coach's lifestyle and you know everything that comes together with trying to make it as a Muay Thai fighter. Huh? We all start in the, in the amateurs so that uh, we can become professionals and become consummate professionals and always make weight. So, so I just talked to the coach from uh, Las Vegas and I said, will you accept the fight? She's not going to lose four pounds. She's probably going to lose one to two pounds. They will accept the fight, but we're still making her lose as much weight as possible. We have a total. So it's supposed to be well, Johnson, 110. You know, no, 108. She's 108. That was a conversation. Well, 108 and she came in at 112. Like we give them one pound. Yeah. So that's still not enough. Well, obviously there's a miscommunication. Yeah. That happens too. I mean, we've seen yeah. it before where a sure. coach, coach doesn't relay the right information and yeah, the absolutely. fighter is going for. Yeah. So, anyways. She's going to lose as much weight as she can in an sure. hour, and the yeah. opponent has accepted the fight, so we can okay. we can read the rules now. Okay, okay so you guys get that? Oh, oh, rest. Let's get a rest. No, we're not pretty. We are. We're, not. We, we're a lot of things, but we're not pretty. First one to hug my wife every time. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I'm glad it's you getting this shit, and not me. It's usually me. These are my biker buddies. We ride motorcycles together. I ride with the Airdrie motorcycle guy. <laughs> Muay Thai riders. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, guys. Thank you. He's just jealous. He's just so jealous. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Uh, so, once again, uh, our race sports officials are here, uh, Mr. Zentek, right, and Mr. Mr. Sanderson. So, uh, please pay attention to what they have to say. Okay, uh, good evening. We are in the evening here yet? Yeah, we are. Thank you. Um, the, this fight is sanctioned by WKA. That's why the paperwork, everybody had to sign in, uh, sign up, including all the other paperwork that you did do. So uh, the, uh, the, the, medical, the medical form, which you've already filled out, is going to be uh, given to the doctor tomorrow. So when he does the pre-fight uh, uh, checkup, he's gonna be able to fill out that form, okay? And now I, I wanna also confirm that the only two fights that are gonna be full Muay Thai are the last two fights. Everybody else is gonna be a modified Muay Thai, and you're going to be wearing headgear and shin pads. We all agree? Yes. Yes. And the only reason I'm asking is because we had a fight where we got into the ring and, and one of the corners said, I didn't agree to this. So that's why I want to clarify this now, okay? And then, sorry, Mike, with clarifying that, then the last two will be elbow pads? The, the last two will be only elbow pads. Yeah. Full, full Muay Thai is only elbow pads for amateurs. Okay. Okay, so we'll go over the rules quickly. Uh, all bouts are scored on a 10-point must system. No weapon scores more heavily than others, so all score equally. Uh, taping is only allowed on the hands and around the outside of the glove to cover the laces. That's once your gloves are on. Uh, you will be supplied gauze and tape. Yes, sir. That's the only, the only gauze and tape you are allowed to use. You cannot take another roll of tape and make yourself a cast or you know unfortunately we've seen that happen before because we have to sign it off and we'll make you take it off uh you are you are allowed to put tape up to three quarters of an inch so to be safe leave an inch uh short of your knuckles you are allowed to put tape in between the knuckles as long the knuckles aren't uh aren't touched by the tape now in other words you can't build up a cast which um, most of you are aware of. And again, uh, myself or Sean will, uh, will be signing off, signing off the wraps before you put your gloves on. Excuse me. Anklets can be worn, but no taping of the feet, toes, or ankles. So that means you can have tape on your toes or 
you know, something that's injured, unfortunately, we just don't want to give anybody an advantage. Just one Yes. Sorry. Thank you. One one anklet per ankle. And again, we have to say that because we've seen people come in with two or three of them on one side saying they have an injury. Uh, it, it's not allowed. Uh, all athletes must have fitted mouth guards. Okay, and there are no male fighters here. If you are wearing a preciat, it must be tied in a way that it doesn't have excessive length and it's not whipping anybody or it's not getting in the way. We'll ask you to remove it if it does. No attacks to the groin, no more attacks to the spine of the opposing fighter. No dropping elbows to the back of the head or to the spine. And that'll apply to the two, two full Muay Thai. Um, just to add in, ladies, um, tomorrow, junior medicals, you will begin a pregnancy test. That's when the doctor, when you check with, uh, you get your medical done with the, the doctor, he will give you it during that time. Okay. Okay. Fighters must protect themselves at all time. Attacks to a down fighter will result in a warning, foul, or disqualification. Uh, during a knockdown, the opposing fighter must stay in a further a neutral corner until invited back in by the referee. Fighters cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the last. There's a four knockdown rule in the fight. Three in a round, four in a fight. After that, we call the fight. No talking to the other fighter during the fight. Mouth guard must be kept in while the fight is in progress. If somebody keeps spitting out their mouth guard, it'll be uh, considered uh, uh, being passive and they'll receive a warning. And if you keep doing it, you will be disqualified. No elbow attacks in modified Muay Thai rules. No knees to the head. So in a modified, you are allowed to clinch, you are allowed to throw knees, but not to the head. And no elbows are allowed. Now, if you have an opponent who tends to bend over a lot, you still can't knee him in the head. You have to be control, in control of, of your knees at all times. The referee will warn that fighter if they continue to, to bend their head over. So in a modified Muay Thai, in a full Muay Thai, you are allowed elbows and knees to the head, okay? Padded elbows will be used uh, in the full Muay Thai, which we discussed already. Fighters, you're allowed to catch a kick and take one step. You cannot catch the kick and run across the ring. That's called plowing. So you are allowed to catch the kick and do one technique. So you can take out the leg, you can throw a punch, you can do whatever, but you cannot run with that, with that uh, leg with that leg across the, uh, the ring. You will be warned if you can continue to do that. No leg sweeps, uh, hip throws, no judo throws. <clears throat> Athletes can be spun off balance and tossed to the ground like a uh, good Muay Thai uh, technique. No holding of the ropes at any time. Clinching is allowed during the Muay Thai bouts. Depending on your referee, you will be Usually they give you five seconds as long as, you can, as you're busy. If you're both clenching each other and nobody's moving, we will, we will break you. Tie shorts must be worn by everyone. No facial or body jewelry. I don't know why I have to mention that, but I do. Okay. Uh, for the coaches, amateurs only, uh, two, two coaches in the, in the ring. Um, in the corner, I'm sorry. So uh, in, between, in between rounds, one coach is allowed in the ring, the other one can be on the apron. Coaches are responsible for controlling their people in the corner. In other words, blasphemy and screaming. I mean, you can, you, can, uh, uh, you know, uh, encourage, encourage your fighter, but we, we prefer not to hear the blasphemy because <laughs> there's, you know, there's a crowd around. Uh, if during the round the coach is invited by the referee to clean their fighter or adjust equipment or anything, there's no coaching allowed. So you can't be sitting there and telling them what they're, what they're doing wrong. When a timeout is called, coaching of fighters is not allowed also. Touching an athlete during the progress of a fight without being invited to do so by the referee is an immediate disqualification. If you want to end a fight, you don't have to throw 
uh, a towel in. Just stand on the apron and the fight will be over. If a fighter is injured, only the doctor is allowed in the ring unless invited. So I, I understand if your fighter is injured, the first uh, impulse you have is to go in and to take care of your fighter. Let the referee and the doctor do their job and then you will be invited in. A clacker will sound when there's 10 seconds remaining in the round. A whistle will be blown when there's 10 seconds prior to the start of each round. Coaches must be out of the ring and on the floor with all materials removed from the ring, water bottles, towels, etc. Each corner must keep their area dry. The referee will ask you to do it if you don't. Throwing in a towel does not stop a fight, like I said, stand on the apron. Profanity and social media comments and insults will not be tolerated. If there is an issue or question, please see the head official. I am the head official. You can't come, come up to me and say, I think my fighter won. All coaches think their fighter won, especially if it's a close fight. If you think there was collusion, or you think that the scorecards were added up improperly, please come and see me. I will more than willing to discuss it with you at the end. But please don't come to me and say, I think my fighter won. We have to respect the, the decision of the, uh, of the judges. Okay, any questions? And by the way, you ladies did really good. Your paperwork was, was excellent. You're much better than the men. Okay, good, good, good luck tomorrow. Thank you. you guys are terrible. I think you're the worst. One sec, guys, just one sec before you leave. So, so 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 I I time. Okay, so uh, doctor is going to be there at? Three. Three. For the first half before intermission. So that's about two, three, four, and five. If you guys could be there at three, and then at four o'clock, um, the doctor will do the rest. And because um, doors open at five, and fights start at six. And we're gonna start right on time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. We will start on time. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't checked your music with the DJ, go check in with your music, let, let her know what song you're coming out to. Um, when you show up early, uh, please don't save seats for people. Uh, you gotta let them come in and you know get their seats there uh, on their own. Um, when you guys come to the gym, uh, if you haven't been to our gym before, uh, the upstairs is designated red and blue corner for everyone. Okay, the only people allowed up there are fighter and two coaches. That's it. We don't want a bunch of people up there hanging out or whatever, right? It's only for the fighters so that they stay calm. Right, and they can they can relax, chill out, and have room to warm up, which is really important, right before their match. All right, after the match is over, you can go down and say hi to everybody. But we like to keep the upstairs uh, as clear as possible because there's also a camera up there because um, we are going live on pay per view on Saturday night, right for the first time. WKA TV has picked us up uh, as being the Canadian affiliate, so. Um, we are going to be going live, so it's going to be awesome. You know, you're going to be uh, uh, viewed around the world. Um, WK reaches out through all, all countries all over, and uh, they'll be watching your fight, and that way um, it becomes a really international type of thing. Uh, another promising thing that, uh, that they're allowing us to do is, is if you become a, an associate under WKA, uh, you will be given um, uh, uh, commission if you uh, are registered with them and, you, and they people share your link and they watch the fight off your link, you're going to get 20% uh, kickback for a fighter, which is really nice for an amateur fighter, pays for little things, right? And, uh, you know, it, it's a really good motivator uh, also to be seen from, you know, by lots of people from around the world watching your fight. And that way we can possibly match up fighters from different countries, right, and bring them in and really put on a, a firecracker of a show in the future. So have a look at that, uh, check it out. If you have questions, come find us later. Uh, otherwise, if anyone needs a ride here from the gym tomorrow, don't hesitate to call, we can send out the bus, right? We send out the dragon wagon, right? And uh, pick you guys up, all right? So uh, anything else? So after the, the winner is announced, we'll be yes. sending them out to speak with Vaughn for yes. a quick interview. Yes. Just so you know, we have something we want to say, right? Yeah. We'll announce the winner, loser exits the ring, and then winner who holds gold at the side of the ring will direct you. Yeah. You'll be interviewed quickly, and then we'll be on. Okay? Yeah, likely about two, three minutes is what we're going to have. Yeah.
Yeah, there'll be a table set up for the winner for a quick little interview, right? Where she can ask a couple questions. So uh, maybe have something prepared. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Right? So, um, and then after that, we'll just continue to every other fight after that. So, yeah. I think yeah. it's all about the fighters. We want to be able to promote you guys in a positive way and show everybody what's going on in Alberta because it's, you guys, we're, we are a Muay Thai hub. You know, we're really going to put on a great show. We're really excited for tomorrow. So if anyone has any more questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, you know, thank you so much for coming in. If you guys got flip-flops, bring our shoes to walk to the ring because it's going to be muddy. It's wet outside. So instead of wearing, you know, walking with your bare feet from up top to the ring, um, just, you know, bring a pair of clean indoor shoes or flip-flops, whatever is easier to slip on. Flip -flops. And then tickets go offline tonight at uh, 9 o'clock. Okay, so offline is being shut down at 9 o'clock and we'll tally eight how many we got and then whatever's left over for the limit inside uh, will be sold at the door tomorrow. There will be tickets at the door. I just don't know how many, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Very good. good. All right, awesome, thank you everybody. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. See you guys tomorrow, get some rest. Yeah, get some rest, you're ready to fight. That's all right, you guys can walk, it's all good. <laughs> if the guy laughs, if the guy sounds like me, it's not like it's so awkward. I can wait all night. Yeah. So would you open it back? Is that only one minute? Oh, nice. Oh, well. Yeah. Are you from Washington? Yeah. Oh, cool. You want to do a quick uh, few minutes? Yeah. Can we toss my minute? Show your mom. Not your dad. Okay, I'm not. What I get? But yes, I'm coming back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. I am Sydney Sightseas, or Sid Vicious, from Pure Fitness Martial Arts in Bellingham, Washington. Well, first of all, welcome to Canada. Thank you. Did thank you just you. arrive like now? Uh, yeah, a few hours ago. Got okay. to the hotel around five. Cool. Was was it hard to get here? No, it was pretty easy. Um, easy to get into the airport and fly across. Only an hour and a half flight, so it was pretty nice. Shuttle picked me up. No COVID issues. No, no. Got my test. All came back good. Nice, easy. Yes. Cool. Yeah. So, how did you end up coming here? Like, to yeah, like was it a fight? scout that got you? Yeah. So no. In 2020, when we had the, I think it was the second annual one of these, I somehow got an invite. I don't know. I think my coaches kind of, and one of my coaches talked to Vanessa, and then they needed someone in my weight class, and I was ready. Mm -hmm. And I loved it. It was one of my best fights, just experiences ever, and I've been so happy to come back. Okay. So how long, how much notice do you get for this fight? Um, I got about four weeks. Four weeks, okay. Which, that, that's not a lot, right? Not a lot, not okay. a lot. I usually have about eight weeks, mm -hmm. um, six to eight weeks. So the four weeks is a little short notice, but you know, I pretty much stay fight ready. So. Okay, so if you only had four weeks this time, and normally you get eight weeks, for, right? Mm -hmm. What did you do different this time than um, usual? So luckily at this point in my fight career, I am pretty much, like I said, almost always fight ready. I stay pretty close to my fight weight. I have been training pretty hard and, you know, I just put it in overdrive and worked myself as hard as I could and made every single second of those four weeks count. Right. Yeah. But if you had another four weeks, you would have been more comfortable, you think, or no? Doesn't matter at this point? I don't care. I'm ready. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thank you for your time, Sydney. Thank you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, sir. I've said prior to. Folks, are you guys camera shy? Oh, no, not at all. All right. No. Oh, you want like all three of us? Yeah, whatever. It's all good. Yeah, go ahead. It's the women's gala. Yeah, all, right. all right. So first of all, can you guys say your name and the gym you're from? Uh, yes. Mahalia Kanaya, Wolf House MMA. Nikki Bilkey, Wolf House MMA. All right.
So how much notice did you guys get for this fight? Uh, I think it was four weeks. Yeah. Four weeks, all right. So I was talking to Sydney earlier, she was saying normally she gets eight weeks. Oh, okay. Is that normal for you guys, or is four weeks kind of um, normal? I don't know. This is my third fight, so usually it's been like four to six weeks. So I'm I'm good with whenever because I'm training all the time. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. And the last time I saw you, it was trial by fire ten. Yes. Yeah, just in November. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. I gotta give you guys a call because I have the footage from there, and I want to do a little bit of interview with you guys offline. Awesome. Well, yeah, on that, maybe great. on a Zoom or something. Yeah, that'd be great. All right. So first of all, let's since you're talking, how do you feel about tomorrow's fight? Uh, I'm feeling great about it. I'm excited to go up against uh, Grace. Uh, she's got a lot of experience and uh, just looking to fight people who are more experienced than me and just see what I can do and put my work to the test. So, Have you done any different training this time around than last uh, time? Not really anything different than my typical training, boxing, Muay Thai, my conditioning, uh, weight training. I just kind of try and do it all and stay ready. Cool. And this time for the weigh-in, were you... On, on the dot? Uh, I was actually three pounds under like last time. <laughs> I kind of go a little overboard. I don't know what happens. <laughs> okay, well that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. No, three pounds is not better under than over, I guess. Exactly, yeah. Right, and you guys both train together? Uh, yes, yeah. uh, we're actually, well, yes, we do yes, train like, together. We're yeah, we're, we're pretty we're much sisters. Yeah. 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 Oh, your sister. Well, pretty, pretty okay. much, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. And so, when you say train together, you guys spar together on a daily basis yes. kind of thing? Yeah. All right, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So, are you doing anything different in training? With my amateur fights, I just feel like things got real <laughs> this first time. Fight. Yeah, first yeah. fight. So, just taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. yeah, just training hard, eating right, running, doing boxing classes, all the classes you can. Yeah. Keeping each other accountable. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, you said this is your first amateur fight? Yeah. Okay. So, for anyone that is going to do an amateur fight in the future or near future, what kind of advice do you have for them in terms of training? In terms of training, just make sure you are cardio is good and just go to your classes and listen to your coaches. Cool. How much do you think having a, a more experienced sparring partner help? Honestly, Wolfhouse even, we have a lot of bodies, so it helps we have so many different, between like her and other people in the gym, we have like an all-around experience, so it's good, and we've been there for two years. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And have you ever trained in other gyms, or is Wolfhouse yeah, Wolf the first one? we came out from Next Level, mm -hmm. and then we moved to Wolfhouse, and it's been great. Nice. Yeah. Well, girls, thank you for your time. Thank you. I'll see you guys Appreciate tomorrow, awesome. and uh, hopefully we can speak some more tomorrow, and try to get the feelings of your pre-fight, yeah. you know, brain. <laughs> Wonderful, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that footage of the Women's Muay Thai weigh-in event at the Hotel Clique. Tomorrow is the actual event. It's going to be streamed on WKA TV. That's my hamster running because it's nocturnal. We just got back from setting up for tomorrow's live event on WKA TV. So it's pretty late right now. We were supposed to stream this live, but unfortunately we had some technical difficulties, which I'm sure we will work out next time. So since I didn't do it live, I'm posting it now before I sleep. It is pretty late now, and I do need to sleep before tomorrow's live event, otherwise I may screw up. So, see you folks tomorrow, and I hope you enjoy the show.